Hello everyone, before we actually begin this episode, there's one thing I forgot to show from the last episode, which I completely actually messed up with, but we actually have an upgrade for Rouge after we get the digging shop shoes. If we dig in right here, go through here, we get Mystic Melody, so I just wanted to do that before we actually began the episode. Terribly sorry I completely had forgotten about this, but yeah, there's Mystic Melody, you can see what it does, it plays music, and you get to it. We've seen this all... A good number of times before. This is the first time it's a dark story. We'll see it again. So yeah, uh, with that, uh, let's get back to the story now. It's a space transporter. The destination has been set to... Ark? Wasn't that space colony shut down over 50 years ago? What's he doing up there anyway? Doesn't matter. It's my mission to find out what he's up to. Hello, everyone. So this is the space colony arc. I have to locate the central control room that Shadow mentioned before he left. Hello everyone, welcome back to more of the Sonic Adventures of the Dark Side story. And Eggman's sweet robot break dancing. <laughs> so yeah, here we got a bunch of uh stuff. Killing robots will do slight in this level, so that's a good sign if you do that. And yeah, we're just gonna go through Space Colony Arc as it's still com in its completely abandoned state. So yeah. As it's completely abandoned, there shouldn't be robots up here, yet there still are. Very weird. But yeah, this is art. And we haven't even done some of the other parts of Eggman's plan yet. So, yeah. Also, there are Omochao up here. How did they find their way up there? Also, I saw that switch. Can I shoot you, please? Oh no, there's a bunch of enemies around here! We also got those green... Thingies. Um, yeah. I can show them off. Uh, yeah, those things. You shoot them, and they go captain. Oh, there it is. So if I look far, hard enough, I'd find it. It's worth the hit. I mean, not really, but I had no choice. <laughs> also, Eggman is strong enough to carry himself. Isn't that interesting? Wait a second. I miss a robot. I don't really have much of a choice right now as to where to go, so it's probably over here where I'm supposed to go. Yep. I'm gonna go back though. Does that interest me over here? You, I'll make you I don't think you can really teach you a lesson. Alright. Also, stuff. Also, I got a bat. Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna... I lost the level. Alright, give me a sec. I'm gonna redo this whole thing. So yeah, I only took one minute this time, and what he said was right. Defeating enemies brightens the room so you can see better. But it's just better to kill him anyways, because, you know... Why not? Anyways, we are now in the next part of the map, which is a maze. And actually, I know this is gonna sound weird to say it, but this is an unlockable stage. Yes, we are already in an unlockable stage. Oh, also this. This allows you to hover when you hold down A during a jump. So yeah, we already got the hover thing for Eggman too! Now we can go back to that other mission and see whatever that power-up I was trying to look for before. If it is a power-up. Oh well. Anyways, yes, this is a multiplayer level, this small area we were in. Uh, you unlock it by clearing the dark story. Yes. That early we find the level that actually shows that actually shows that off. Weird how it works, huh? But yeah, now we can hover as egg, man. Everything's just a lot better. So let's just go shoot robots then and keep exploring until we reach the center. There's something up here, I believe, if you shoot these boxes. Again, they require a loss, which is for some reason. It's an old abandoned uh, spaceship, alright? Makes sense. Um, I think we're outside. Maybe. Well, 
Well, he's explained something pretty useful. <laughs> Don't fall in the holes. Really? Yeah, I think with all the other holes... Anyways, uh... No, my rings! You piece of crap! Oh. Oh, my... Okay, I have hover, what am I doing? Whatever. We got the power-up of this level. The first power-up. Just get go. Let's not mess this up anymore. And shoot! Those two, come on, let me shoot them! Yeah! We got a perfect score. Yeah, you know his real power, and he got a few extra bonus points just to show off. Yes, it's better to get perfect, though, than uh, anything else. So, uh, let's shoot these robots and get that one. Boom, five points. Get four, enough for me. I missed that robot. Get the rest of them. Awkward camera angle. Go with nine, that's a really good score total, that's like a thousand. Yep, and the last- <laughs> A little bit more. And I think that's it. Nope, there's still more! <laughs> Lots of robots here. <laughs> Lots of points. Um, now that's it! Except for like, the bombs up here, which I suspect. <gasps> there's a lot of robots. Uh, Thank you, Omo Chow. You're very, very, very not helpful. Seriously, what is with these game tutorials telling you everything that you don't need to know, but I can already assume? Then again, I think I already used the missile. Also, that is right in my face. Let's just get going and finish this. I kill you for that! Anyways, let's go finish this up. Yosh! That's... something. Anyways, mission clear! Thirteen ranks! I hope I got the A rank despite all that- YES! Now you know why I am the best! I had so many kill combos there! I definitely think I deserve that. And I am being like over... about it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, so after clearing the Space Colony Arc, apparently we have a power-up in the Sand Ocean. Yes, for Eggman, right away. And it actually is right away, too, because, uh, it's right over there. We just gotta watch out for the bombs, but it's okay, I can jump right over them and get the Mystic Melody. Change to Mystic Melody in the action window. Press B to play the Mysterious Melodies. Again, just with Rouge, we already got it. Wow. Amazing. If something looks strange, it's because I'm grabbing power up out of order. Sorry about that. I'm playing a bunch of these levels in order, so yeah. We did not see anything. But yeah, with that, we can do stuff like this. Play the music and get out of here. Back to start. And back to start. Or a massive shortcut in the level. Here we are. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, back in the story, in the fourth level. Go. Story time. How did he get here also? I've been waiting for you, Doctor. Now, I will show the glorious achievement of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. The Ark was the first space colony created by mankind. Not many people know that the Ark contained a top secret research facility, where weapons of mass destruction were being created. This is one of them, a weapon capable of destroying an entire planet, codenamed the Eclipse Cannon. Destroying an entire planet? Was this my grandfather's legacy? But it's been deactivated for some time now. To reactivate it, large amounts of energy are necessary. Oh. 
So that's why we needed the Chaos Emerald. Exactly. To reactivate the machine, we need the seven Chaos Emeralds. Once you have that, then you have the ultimate power of destruction to use as you please. And then, the world could be yours. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I like the way you think, Shadow. I will get the Chaos Emeralds, use the machine to dominate the world and build a legacy of my own. Do you really think own. it will be that easy? I've got a great idea. How about making a deal? A deal? When you grabbed that huge emerald, you said something about a reaction. A reaction that it may have with the Master Emerald. Now, if you could just let me borrow that radar, I may be able to help you. What do you think? If I do, what's in it for me? I have an idea where the other Chaos Emeralds may be. It may not look like it, but do you know that I am a treasure hunter that specializes in all kinds of jewels? Very well. Okay then, it's a deal. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Rouge the Bat, but you can call me Rouge. Having to come back isn't my idea of a vacation. How can you be sure your intelligence reports are correct? Why would the Chaos Emeralds be here on the island? Are you absolutely sure? Well, believe what you want to believe. <laughs> very well, very well. Let's discuss how we are going to do this. I will go in first and distract the military troops, allowing you to sneak in the base without being detected. Then. Shadow will enter the armory, where he will set the timer on these dynamite packs. Once that is in place, we will blow up the whole island and get away before anyone has a chance to know what hit them. Meanwhile, you'll have to sneak into the cargo area and grab the Chaos Emerald. That's a challenge for such a worthy treasure hunter as yourself, isn't it, that girl? We only have 30 minutes to pull this mission off, and we only get one try, so don't fail me. That's right, 30 minutes and one try if you don't count all the extra lives they have. <laughs> Apart from that, welcome to the weapons bay! The easiest way to grind for points. I mean, points don't actually do much, but hey! Easy perfects from deactivated robots, why not? <laughs> yeah, this one has a really high score. This one's a really high scoring one. Every jet, every robot, every... everything. Everything. Boom! And I did not even. Dang it. Whatever. Oh, yeah, they caught on to us instantly. Hey, Eggman's plan was to distract. That's why he's doing what he's doing. We're gonna get the Chaos Emeralds. We're gonna continue for a plan for world domination. Also, I found this thing a large cannon. Oh, I forgot to go back and get his other power up. Ah, oh, you're gonna see that, but I'm not gonna have it. Anyways, Vulcan Cannon powered up. You can now break iron containers. Yeah, already we can break iron containers. This is a required power-up. Because as you can see, boop, boop, and boop. Also, there's still no shadow. We only have a few shadow levels, and yet we already have so many Eggman levels. Dark story really is to shoot him up. But yeah, also destroying the cameras counts as a thing. <laughs> Let's destroy the cameras. Again, this is a really high scoring one, so if your score goes really high and you still don't see you have a good uh, setup, well, you just didn't combo well enough. That's all I can say. Yeah, at least we don't have to go hunting for power-ups, because we already got it right away. Let's get going. Oh, I wanted to get that so badly. I'm going back up just to get. <laughs> That's right, Ten ring. And no robot can take on Dr. Eggman Robotnik, and they just killed him. Okay, let's get going. I will not fall into the water again. And, uh, this is a playable course, I believe. Come on, give me a few more. I think that's all of them. Oh well. Tight! 
But again, this is a really high scoring one. If you really love seeing points go up high, play this stage. And yes, it happens to be Eggman of all stages. Um, I wonder where... Let's get going. Get going. Oh, here we are, the high scoring section. This is the best point to take your time and just shoot. And I completely messed up at the, like, the most opportune moment. Oh, I missed! Alright, let's try this again. It doesn't matter how long you take, as long as you get the perfect bonus, honestly. Uh, I almost got them all. Yeah, extreme. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna take out you. <laughs> and all the other robots. The beginning is very important, as you can see, because it's probably worth the most points. And always get rings, because ring bonuses at the very end are very useful. And always shoot those guys for all their bombs for points. <laughs> What else can I say? Pretty straightforward level, and it's pretty fun. No! Okay, I really messed up there. Um, I'm pretty sure if I shoot backwards, I'll get something. Okay. Okay, I don't want to even trust it, so let's get going. Let's get those combos up, and I died in the water again. That was close. At least I'm able to get everything, though. Anyways, that's how you get it. You have to do a double bounce. Um, Super Speed Eggman! Um, it might seem strange that I keep going back to the points, but you know what? A rank, man. A rank. You lose at any point in here, you're obviously not going to get an A rank, and I really want that A rank. I'm gonna shoot down those guys because points. No. I mean, if you rapidly shoot, it's pretty easy, but if you aim for the combos, it's not that easy at all. Get the ranks, please. Well, if you do that, that's what happens when I say you don't shoot. Best way to earn points is still the same as before. Find these guys off to the side and just. Beat the heck out of him. I got 11. 11 is your best friend combos. With that, uh, let's get going. And. And I got 12 accidentally, but oh well. Whatever. Oh, I see that robot up there. Um, can I kill you, please? Yikes! Die already, please! Oh, wow, there's a lot more over there. I got 11. Probably got more than 11, but oh well. Let's get this again. I think that's the rest of them. I don't know. I don't have many rings. I just don't want to die at this point. <laughs> oh! They just keep ramming. They need to stop ramming. I don't think these machines were meant to ram. Eggman definitely wasn't, because he keeps getting hit. Let's get going. Um, shoot you. So, I really like how this story gets things from a bad guy's perception. They don't really do that too much in games, honestly. Oh, here's the goal. Let's see if I got a good ring. Yeah, nice to see the plan actually come out from the villain's perception. Anyways, uh, I think we're actually going to be done with this episode. So yeah, uh, we're going to go back and get some power-ups. And But after that, we'll see how it ends. So yeah, with that... A ring. Now you know why I am the best. Told you. <laughs> Welcome to Iron Gate, where we're most likely gonna get a power up after getting the. I'm dead. What is it called again? Zuka. Anyways, yeah, there are iron crates I mentioned earlier in this level, when I first played this level. So as you can probably suspect, yeah, iron crates. Um, let's get. I'll skip ahead when I find the power up. Also, I hit Homo Chow. Ow. Let's get going. Whew. So here we are, just after that first area. And if we break this down, there we go. A great, great power. I still haven't gotten that other one yet. Oh well. Oh wait, this isn't great at all. Lock on missile power up. Missile spreads as it destroys and blah blah blah. It destroys a lot more enemies when it goes kaboom, alright? Understand? 
So basically, we got that now. The one with the different sound and more power. Yeah, I think we already got all of Kale's power-ups, in fact, now, so let's just break dance out of here. Okay, everyone ready? Shadow, Rouge, on with the show! Oh, Sonic! I thought I'd never see you again! I'm so glad you made it! You're not Sonic! Who are you? I'm the one who should be asking that. Dr. Eggman! Ah! Ah! Amy, I'm the one who should be asking that. Leave it to me! I'll take care of her. You two, go! Oh, hey! Remember this? We played the hero story fighting Tails here on the, like, the second mission, but now it's the opposite. We're playing as Eggman versus Tails. And yeah, that's right. The hero characters are actually bosses in this game, too, for him. Whenever we play against the hero character, we'd be playing against their uh, equivalent. And yeah, you just shoot him instead. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching. That's the end of this video. So uh, yeah, with that, good night, everybody.